wanted to show you how to access the Opposing Viewpoints database and choose the two articles on the same topic from that database. You will need these two articles for Major Assignment 2 and Major Assignment 3. First step, go to your browser window and type in SUNY Suffolk.edu. That will take you to the home page of the college, and it should look like this with this URL address. Go to Quick Links Library, and that takes you to the library page. There are a lot of great resources on this library page. For our purposes, for this assignment, we're going to click on Database List. This takes you to an alphabetized list of all the databases that the library subscribes to. These are all free to you as a SUNY Suffolk student. Click on O for Opposing Viewpoints. Scroll down to Opposing Viewpoints in Context. Click on it. And that takes you to this page, which is the Opposing Viewpoints database. And it has thousands of articles on basically every contemporary issue or topic that you can think of. Scroll through and pick something that you find interesting. You really should pick something that you're interested in because you're going to um, use these articles and this topic for two assignments. These two assignments are the most important assignments in the class. These comprise our research unit. As I mentioned a few times, as far as I'm concerned, research and learning how to write with research um, is the most important skill that you're going to learn from freshman composition. It's a skill you're going to use in almost every other college class you take. It's also a skill that you can apply in most situations in many workplaces. So I'm going to choose school dress codes. I click here. The first thing I see is this short paragraph. It gives you a brief summary of the topic. I'm going to click on read more. And this whole thing, all this text, is one article. So this will be the first article that I'm going to use. The first step, even if you're not sure if you might use the um, article or not, is to click on this button called Cite. This takes you to an MLA bibliographic citation. We will go over this more in class, but for now, you should select it, copy it, and then paste it into a file that you'll save to your OneDrive. You can call that file research file or draft of research. Just something, this is going to be a place where you're going to keep notes. The reason why I ask you to save these citations is because you might end up reading several articles before you choose your topic and you always want to make sure that you're leaving a trail so that you can find the articles that you chose. Sometimes when we start doing research, we don't save the articles and then we have a really hard time finding them again. Once you've um, copied the citation and saved it somewhere that you can access, start scrolling through the article and you can either at this point print it out or if you prefer to read it online, you can keep reading online and as you're reading, highlight some sentences that you think are important or interesting. But don't highlight so many that, you, that they're all highlighted. Try to only choose five or six highlighted sentences per article. You can highlight a couple sentences at a time but try to be very selective about what you highlight. Once you're through with the highlighting, if you have, um, 
if you have decided to keep it online, you can go to download and you save it wherever you'd like to save it. And then when you open it up, it will be in a PDF with your highlights on it. Once you've read through one article and you've highlighted five or six areas in that article that you find interesting or important, choose another article. I suggest that you go to the sidebar here and choose one of these articles. So I'm going to choose this one and these articles will all be on the same topic but they'll have a different perspective. You don't need to find a pro-con argument. Some of your topics will have a very clear pro-con argument. For example, school dress codes. Some people are for them and some people are against them. Um, so that has a very clear pro-con um, argument. However, other topics such as opioid addiction or driving while intoxicated, those don't really have clear pro-con arguments. It's going to be very difficult for you to find anyone who is arguing in favor of driving while intoxicated. Likewise, you're probably not going to find anyone who's arguing that opioid addiction is a beneficial thing. However, within those topics, there are different perspectives. Different people can have various ideas about how to treat or prevent opioid addiction or how to prevent or punish driving while intoxicated. So once you look at your second article, you do the same thing. You find a few areas that you think are important. Aim for about five or six. And then when you're done, download it and save it. Then you have two articles from the Opposing Viewpoints database. You have two citations that you have saved, and you have between 10 and 12 highlighted sections of the article that we will then use to start building quote sandwiches, which is what we are going to be working on next.